E3 this year of 2020 has been cancelled due to the coronavirus, but what does this mean for Halo Infinite as it was supposed to be the big reveal for everything? Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand what could happen next. Well, how's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news informational video when it comes to Halo and just gaming in general. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the channel a lot guys to keep more people in the know of what's going on. So let's get right into the content here. So as we all know with the current health scare that's going around with the coronavirus hitting the US and kind of spreading around quite a bit guys, people are taking their precautions to make sure things are canceled or delayed or certain things like that. Uh, me and my personal state of uh, uh, Seattle here, or I should say city, uh, school district, districts around the Seattle area are actually going to be closed until the end of April. Uh, canceling all groups that are larger than 250 people are going to be actually canceled as well, like concerts and certain events like that. You know, people are definitely taking their precautions to make sure this doesn't spread more than they actually can. Uh, I've been working from home for the last week and a half, <laughs> uh, so I'm getting a little home, you know, cabin fever going on right now. So, and uh, like March Madness got canceled. I know that like spring training games for MLB have been uh, postponed or canceled as well the M you know, NBA has suspended their season for now like there's a lot of things going on right now with the, with a lot of uh, large group gatherings kind of stuff so as we all know the Super Bowl of all gaming announcements E3 every year in June takes place in Los Angeles and that's kind of like the big year that we were kind of expecting to see Halo Infinite you know, this is the channel we've been building up for years and years for this release of Halo Infinite, guys. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to this. We'd be like, you know, Halo Infinite possibly being able to steal the show on the main stage. Everyone looking at it at once kind of thing. And it looks like that's not going to happen. As of March 11th, E3's Twitter recently put out this image and said, After careful consultation with our member companies regarding the health and safety of everyone in our industry, our fans, our employees, our exhibitioners, and our longtime E3 partners, we have made the difficult decision to cancel E3 2020 schedule for June 9th through 11th in Los Angeles. So yeah. E3 canceled this year. This is the first time I've ever seen this happen. I don't even think it happened during like swine flu era, which that was like a legit pandemic. Uh, so I think people are taking the extra precautions to make sure stuff like this, you know, doesn't spread around, which is, I'm really, it's sad to see this happen, but I'm glad uh, companies are stepping up, willing to take that hit when it comes to making some money and um, doing what needs to be done to make sure to keep people's safety and health in mind. So that's super important. But what does this mean for Halo? Is Halo going to get its time to shine? Are we even going to be able to see gameplay of this? Well, I think so from a Phil Spencer tweet. Phil Spencer actually retweeted an article talking about the cancellation of E3 2020 and he goes on and says this on Twitter. E3 has always been an important moment for Team Xbox. Given this decision, this year will celebrate the ge next generation of gaming with the Xbox community and all who love to play via an Xbox digital event. Details on timing and more coming in the weeks. So basically guys, that uh, they're still gonna have an event. It's gonna happen. There's gonna be a big announcement, a big show off kind of thing. So you guys know that we're at least gonna have some time to show off everything. Now, does this possibly hurt uh, Xbox? Possibly, because, um, you know, obviously E3 is like a one-stop shop for everything you're going to wanna know about gaming entertainment as a whole. This year is set to be one of the biggest years for Halo and Xbox with the release of the new Xbox, and the release of the new Halo game, launch title greatness and everything like that. So us in the Halo community, we're super excited about this day. Probably our first chance to actually see some real gameplay, probably campaign, and multiplayer would be my guess you know probably a full suite of everything that's gonna be in the game so uh this was gonna be huge and seeing this happen is very heartbreaking for us halo fans but i don't think it's time to you know doom and gloom with this whole event because i think we have something a little up the sleeve with the xbox community so if you guys remember back in november there was an event that happened for the xbox specifically in london called xo19 which is basically a big event to kind of showcase everything that xbox is getting the, just a windows platform micro 
Microsoft in general showing off some new games, some new game announcements, and we even had the announcement of the release date of Halo Reach PC as well. So they definitely were willing to show their hand a bit when it came to this event. Uh, at the time, they did not mention anything about the new Xbox, as I'm sure it was a little bit under development. But I do think, if I remember correctly, they did kind of a uh, hint at it a little bit, if I remember correctly. So certainly could be possible when it comes to these events that I think what's going to happen is that we're going to see a similar XO19 event in June, probably just with the uh, Xbox community, probably just like how you have you ever seen the uh, Inside Xbox events where it's just like a couple hosts and talking about things about, you know, what's coming for the platform and things like that, which I'm assuming that's when we'll probably get a chance to see some Halo Infinite gameplay for everybody here. Uh, when that's happening, we do not know. But when it does happen, you guarantee I'm going to be talking about it on this channel, guys. So make sure you subscribe to keep yourselves up to date when all that news happens. And so I'm assuming that we're going to see a lot more information about the new Xbox. We're going to see a ton of information about Halo Infinite. Now, will this hurt the reveal and people getting to more know about it? You know, I bet a little bit because uh, you know everyone's aware of news and information on the day of E3. Uh, when you have your own separate event, it could probably hinder that a little bit. Though it hasn't really bothered too much, as I do know that like PlayStation, I think hasn't really participated too much when it comes to E3 the last couple of years, and they seem to be doing all right. Uh, mainly because they have you know YouTube, Twitter. Instagram, I mean, just the internet as a whole. But nowadays, the way the information flows around so quickly that you almost don't even really need the events like E3. Because if, uh, you know, if a game event like Halo Infinite gets announced, I mean, people are going to know about it for sure. You know, I mean, like Call of Duty's, you know, release their uh, announcement trailers just on their YouTube channel and then everybody knows when the Call of Duty is coming out right they don't need like a crazy release event anymore basically we have the internet and I, I think if we kind of do like an inside the Xbox inside the Xbox kind of event for uh, everything that's going to be was going to be planned to be released and announced at E3 this year I think it will be rather successful then you got channels like me giving news and information talking about uh, these kind of things the word's going to get around people are going to know about it and I think it's going to be just fine. Now, I did kind of talk about it a little bit, but what do I expect to see from Halo Infinite this year? I expect to see a really big reveal. I think we're going to be showing split screen. I think we're going to be showing cross play. I think we're going to be showing campaign. I think we're going to be showing multiplayer, probably even forge even. Even that's a much more niche kind of thing. Um, that would make might be kind of more of a 50-50 kind of thing. I'm expecting big things on campaign and multiplayer though and i would assume cross by the kind of show that you know you'd be on any platform you want you know game pass support that kind of thing that's what i'm really expecting to see happen if you guys remember what uh, one of the uh forza horizon games that came out they showed a guy on pc they showed a guy on console on uh, different platforms all playing together and it looked really cool and i think we might see something similar with halo infinite uh, how much story we're gonna see out of this? I think we're gonna see a little bit more of kind of seeing like who are the bad guys, what's going on with Cortana, what's going on with Chief, is Blue Team coming back, is Locke coming back, what's the goal thing about that? I think we're gonna get a basis of understanding of like, you know, who's gonna be in the game, what to look out for, and what to expect. Uh, personally, I would really, I'm like really expecting to see the flood in this game, but I really hope we don't see it because I would love to see that be a surprise for the game. But you know, that's just my opinion as well. I assume Bonnie Ross probably coming up on stage and just kind of giving you everything that maybe Halo 5 was missing and people have questions about, clarifying that on stage as well. Uh, probably, but I'm just really excited about this day, guys. Again, I will make sure to do a video about this. I'll definitely do like a reaction video, break down all the information, tell you everything you need to know, or if that everything that you possibly might have missed as well on that date. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys, because I'm pretty sure when this event comes around, it's going to be really big for the Halo community. Yeah, guys, that's everything I'm going to talk about right now. I'm even though with E3 being canceled, I'm assuming like we're going to have a XO. 2020 kind of event thing probably around june as well yeah, i'm sure the word's gonna get around when that's happening and everything between i think it's kind of worrisome at the moment but i think it's gonna be just fine maybe not as hyped or as grandiose as e3 but we're gonna get what we want pretty much so guys if you like these kind of news and informational videos please make sure to tap that like button like i said it really helps out the channel and video it keeps more people in the know what's going on guys make sure you leave a comment down below as well as i do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well and uh let me know what your thoughts are on e3 being canceled and if you're new to the channel and missing any content from 
for me. Make sure you subscribe and check out the videos on the screen right now, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.